today I'm reviewing Karanel's new album, Sky 100. Sky 100 is an incredibly emotional album, incredibly loud album, as well as a very mature album from Paranol. And we'll get into why I believe this is such a mature album from Paranol in a minute, but first I'll talk about the music itself. On every single track on here, or most of the tracks, it is just another hit after hit, an incredibly high amount of energy, noise, and emotion resonates through every single track on this one after another this especially applies to the first six tracks where it just feels like it's getting higher and higher with each song and eventually peaking at evoke me which feels almost like a character break for Paranol. This is Paranol's loudest album by far, and that's saying something when Paranol's whole career has been built off of albums that are very rough and noisy, but this is easily his loudest and most ambitious album. More so than just instrumentally, his vocals here are the best they have been in his whole career, and I don't think that's up for debate. And I think he himself recognizes this because the vocals are presented so upfront. Unlike on To See the Next Part of the Dream, where the vocals are very much mixed in to the instrumental, as almost to hide it a bit, the vocals on Sky 100 are very upfront. They are in front of the instrumentals through most of the time, but the only time the vocals aren't the main present focal point of these songs is when it hits emotional peaks. When Paranol's straining his voice, when it's reaching an emotional high, and he's yelling and just letting all his emotions out, they start breaking and straining and they get mixed into the distortion of the album. The reason I call this album Paranol's Most Mature mainly has to do with his lyrics, but I think you could also apply this label of maturity to both the instrumentals and his vocals in general, because it really just feels like a much more fully realized sound from Paranol. But to focus on the lyrics for really short, because obviously I'm just reading translations, so I'm not gonna fully grasp it as much as somebody who could understand Korean. This almost feels like Paranol talking to his older self that made to see in the next part of the dream. My interpretation of the album would be Paranol is talking to all these older versions of himself, as well as to us, the listener. The album, in my opinion, is mainly about learning to change and not being scared to change and not being lost and absorbed by nostalgia and your memory. So much about this album is about facing this fear of growing up, getting older, and realizing things have to change if you want stuff to be better. But it's also about realizing that to change, it's going to be painful. It's not going to be easy, and you're probably going to get hurt. But it's only if you get hurt and you're willing to go through that change are you able to rise and become an even better person and soar to new heights that wouldn't have been possible before that. I think this is a very easy album to connect to because this idea of just being too scared to change, too stuck in the past with your nostalgia, even though it's something you feel like you need to do, you're just scared to do it. Now, I wouldn't say this album is sad. It definitely has a lot of very realistic themes, but I do think this album is by the end of it relatively happy. And I think Paranol is trying to inspire others to really push themselves and go about this change. As I said before, I think the first six tracks are just an insane run. I think it's a perfect run. Every single song, track after track, an insane level of energy, almost each one just beating the last, eventually peaking at Evoke Me, this incredibly ambitious, huge song from Paranol, and easily his most diverse song if we don't count the uh, Live Into the Endless Night, and in my opinion, his most tightly knit long song. Now, this being said, there is a noticeable change after Evoke Me. I believe the rest of the album is a bit slower. It's not as impactful in my opinion and i would say it's slightly less interesting i don't think it's bad by any means but i think the two interludes definitely slow the pacing of the album down quite a lot compared to the first half now i could easily see somebody saying that that's the point and that after evoke me the album is supposed to become slower but in my opinion i really just think it's not nearly as interesting as the first six tracks on this album that being said i do think the two main songs on the back half of the album backwards and the final track fan are quite fantastic. They follow the kind of lyrical themes of the album going up to that point. And I think the outro, of course, is probably the most inspiring part of this entire album. That being said, I just find the second half after Evoke Me to be less interesting than the first half. And I think this is mainly due to the interludes. I think the interludes work, but it's a similar issue to what I have on To See the Next Part of the Dream. On To See the Next Part of the Dream, I feel that extra story really kills the pacing and the level of energy the album has. And I feel a very similar thing to these two songs no one talks about it anymore and meaning of regret they sort of lower the whole energy and pacing the album has and i just feel like on an album like this we don't need an interlude we don't need this soft break Paranol's albums i think are best when it's just this huge flow of energy emotion angst 
regret just pouring out one after another and that's what makes the first six tracks of this album so amazing that being said i still think the album is fantastic and the second half being a bit less interesting the first does not take away from the album it barely takes away from the album it's just a slight complaint on my behalf i would give paranol's sky hundred a 9 out of 10 very easily for my rym people i'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 and for my album of the year people i'd probably give it a 96 out of 100. let me know what you guys think about paranol's new album sky 100 in the comments below did you like it is this your new favorite paranol project for me personally speaking i think this is on par with to see the next part of the dream i would give that album a 9 out of 10 as well what is your favorite track from this album evoke me seems to be the fan favorite online if you like what i do here make sure to check out my patreon it's one tier one dollar and thank you to my five patrons bayri sir may poppy john i pick your pocket and ajin ajin m i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong thank you guys for supporting the channel and thank you for watching and have a good day wherever you are uh and uh yeah <laughs> Evoke me.